hello hello my youtube family this is angela here and we are pushing into our 36th part of our prior and reading of the book of proverbs can you believe it we are pushing into 45 parts and that means it's 45 days don't take it lightly if you have been on the journey i want you to just shout just shout a praise just shout a praise that you have been consistent on this journey and you're believing god to fill you up with all the wisdom that you need to have and to push you on your new journey of purpose walking in purpose walking in his will and accomplishing his will you know at the end of the day god has written certain things for us to accomplish you know and sometimes we need to just take the time out and say god i want you to lead me into my purpose lead me show me my talent show me my gifts help me god to establish my talent if your talent is not yet established if your gifts have not yet established for the kingdom of heaven because you may be using your gift but you may be using it not for the kingdom of heaven but for other places and other uses and when i say the kingdom of heaven that whatever you're doing it glorify god like being a musician in the church you know that your 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 music is unto god like being a singer in the church you know that your singing is glorifying the kingdom of heaven and we we, we just want to give god thanks that he has blessed these gifts upon us we want to thank him we want to praise him because you know that even though we are reading proverbs we still talk about some other little things you know and we're living in a serious time and there are so many things that are happening around us you know it is coming that we have to use more of the, the 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 more of what i would say now more of the online you understand more of online everywhere you go you know they're recommending you that you use more of online and i would see a particular bank saying that they're closing down some of their atm but if we have to deposit our money in the atm and more and more they're saying that we should move into the system of 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 online things online banking how can we it's gonna it's like a confusion is just everywhere and i want people of god that you open up your eyes to see what is taking place around us some things are happening around us that is not normal i mean the bible is fulfilling i mean when you scroll and you see some things your eye open wide that this is what the bible has spoken up and many people give put down the bible many people come against the bible but everything that was written in the bible it is coming to pass my brothers and sisters in christ it is coming to pass these things are coming to pass open up your eyes wake up let us all wake up mighty god we worship you we exalt your holy name cleanse us create within us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us touch that one that is watching right now breathe afresh upon that one god help us not to be ignorant of what is taking place in this end time in the name of jesus but god help us to be prayerful help us to be truthful mighty god help us to believe help us to trust your word that no matter what comes to the believers that we can rest upon your word we can lean on you and not on our own understanding because our own understanding is limited but you are the unlimited god and so lord we are leaning on you tonight we are leaning on you we exalt you we give you all the glory we give you all the praise we give you all the honor wake us up lord to the truth and help us to walk in your strength strengthen your people right now strengthen your people right now and breathe afresh upon them from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet we're crying out that god they will stand in hope they will stand in that 
that trust in you and not lean on their own understanding. We pray that God, you will give them that push, that drive to stand in your purpose and walk in your will and in your way. God, we glorify you and we thank you for listening to our prayers in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Proverbs 24 and we have read 1 to 17 last night. So we are going to push into 18. Let the Lord see it and it displease him and he turn away his wrath from him. Do not fret because of evildoers nor be envious of the wicked for there will be no prospect for the evil man. The lamp of the wicked will be put out. My son, fear the Lord and the king. Do not associate with those given to change. For their calamity will rise suddenly. And who knows the ruin those two can bring. These things also belong to the wise. <laughs> it is not good to show partiality in judgment. He who says to the wicked, you are righteous, him the people will curse, nation will abhor him, but those who rebuke the wicked will have delight, and a good blessing will come upon them. He who gives a right, who he, he who gives a right answer kisses the lips, prepare your, prepare your outside work. Prepare your outside work, make it fit for yourself in the field, and afterwards build your house. Do not be a witness against your neighbor without cause, for would you deceive with your lips? Do not say, I will, I will do to him just as he has done to me. I will render to the man according to his work. I went by the field of the lazy man and by the vineyard of the man devoid of understanding. And there it was, all overgrown with thorns. Its, its surface was covered with nettles. Its stone wall was broken down. When I saw it, I considered it. I looked on it and received instruction, a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, 34 and last, so shall your poverty come like a prowler and your need like an armed man. Here ended a portion of God's word. We are now by saying thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Just going to read this encouragement wisdom for the leaders. These proverbs were collected by Ezekiah advisors. The first section was written by Solomon and the next two sections were written by others. Well, we well, we all can learn from these proverbs. Many were originally directed towards the king or those who dealt with the king. These are partially help, helpful for those who are leaders or aspire to become leaders. The book ends with a description of a truly good wife who is an example of godly wisdom and that's my and that's my encouragement so it was really describing the entire book right there with the comment and i just want to thank god for his love and mercy towards us and his word that he has left behind us why don't you I, I, I am believing God that your spiritual eyes will be open even wider, wider, and your spiritual ears be open wider, that you see where God has brought you from and where you are at this present time. So many times we are so hard on ourselves. 
and it allows to be also hard and those that we come in contact with but i really hope that god will breathe afresh upon you upon i and everyone that we come in contact with may the purpose that god has blessed us to be upon this earth with overflow within us and touch the lives of those we come in contact with the peace of god rest upon you see feel and seal the vision that god has given unto you don't give up don't give in keep pressing as we press to the end of this 45 days of prayer and reading the book of proverbs you hear a while ago these are words that leaders use to help to make better decision for those that they lead i hope you are a leader or if you're not yet maybe you have not come in contact with what god has written for you to be god bless you until we meet again